What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're switching it up a little bit from our usual program. We haven't really talked about the sneaker market in quite some time. We haven't made a dedicated video to it and it's going to be a little bit of a two-part series. So in this video right here, we're going to break down the buyer's aspect. If you want to buy shoes for yourself, you want to buy shoes right now, what are some of the good shoes to get that are on discount and on sale basically because of what's going on in the current economy, right? We currently have CPI at all-time highs, uh, like 9.1% was July 22 numbers. We got gas prices all-time high. Housing is on its way back down. Gas is on its way back down. Hopefully, I don't know. It's like all over the place right now. A lot of economic data points just all over the place for the most part. And in this video, we're basically going to break down the sneaker aspect of it because it does kind of fall into the whole consumer spending cycle. And you do see a lot of people selling, a lot of resellers specifically liquidating a lot of their stock to get capital and to get cash because they need it. So in this video, we're going to break down basically what are some good buys right now that released a couple months ago, years ago that are on sale essentially. And I don't see them going much lower than this. And if you guys didn't know, I do run a Discord community, which basically breaks down the sneaker market. We cover all sorts of sneaker drops, how to buy, resell analysis, all sorts of good stuff. You do hold or sell that. I put my own personal picks in there, holding or selling recent shoes. We do a little bit of, of course, investments, and we do a lot more than just shoes. Once again, sports card, ticket flips, low key flips, collectibles. And you can learn all about that via the link in the description below or the pinned comment. And as always, reach us out if you have any questions on Instagram and Twitter. I'm also back on TikTok, getting active on there as well. And uh, yes, we are going to talk about the Jordan 1 High OG patent breads. This has become a little bit of a meme uh, around like the whole sneaker Twitter, whole sneaker social media accounts because the fact of the matter is it did drop so much in value. You guys can see it's a very high volume shoe though. There is clearly some sort of demand for this sneaker. Um, 263 pairs sold in the last three days. That's a pretty high amount. It's probably one of the top sellers on StockX at the moment and the graph is pretty upsetting. So this is a bread Jordan 1. Usually everyone knows bread Jordan ones have uh, literally every single time. This is one of the most notable ones, the bread toast. And every single time they go up in value. The graph on this one is looking absolutely beautiful. Now, unfortunately, the sneaker market has changed. It has kind of shifted. You do kind of have to shift gears. What used to sell does not sell as much anymore. You got to kind of switch focus on whether you want to focus on like high tier drops, low tier drops, raffle botting, regular GR botting. You know, it's a little bit different for everybody. But in terms of buying shoes on resale platforms, I think this shoe right here, the patent bread toe is at pretty much its lowest. It's going to be i think a lot of resellers out there that had a lot of inventory already in the process already completed selling a lot of the inventory they needed to get rid of and that's obviously the only reason why the market's shifting it's not the fact that people aren't buying because clearly volume is there it's that a lot of resellers wanted to get rid of their holes they said oh this is already down bad i'm not it's literally like a stock market literally a stock it's like saying it's already on its way down so i'm going to get ahead of the curve and try to sell before it hits all time lows and it is pretty much at its all-time lows right now i mean it is kind of funny and analyzing a shoe like the, uh, like a stock, but it is basically uh, an asset. It's literally a financial asset if you consider it that way. Um, of course, some people consider it a piece of fashion, asset, whatever. It depends what type of realm you're talking about. But these right now did retail for $170. Right now selling for around $200 in some sizes. Kind of ridiculous to see. But this is also... A little different. If you look at consignment prices, right, they're very much so different. For example, Urban Necessities is a sh place you could actually ship your sh shoes to actually be at consignment. And there's more than just them. There's stadium goods as well. There's Flight Club. As you can see, here's Stadium Supply, basically the place you can sell shoes as well. And one of those do include patent bread highs. They actually moved up the list. These, these used to be a lot lower, but they're moving up the list. Uh, so clearly a very high, fast volume selling shoe. Average price is $311. Urban Necessities is just about the range. Sometimes a little bit higher depending on the size. But you guys can see right now for example we take a size 11 369 lowest listed 368 actually we'll take 368 right here you look at stock kicks right now and it's selling for approximately $272 so about a hundred dollar difference minus 15% commission fees on urban necessities so it's much better off as a seller to sell on consignment right now but if you're a buyer stay clearly it's kind of common sense but stay away from consignment shops a lot of people don't know that but stock kicks and go are much much lower platforms but yeah so here's one of them patent bread jordan one highs and the gs paris as well these are literally damn near retail in some sizes bigger sizes have kind of held up somewhat i mean you're still making decent margins out here but yeah the graph is also not looking too good 300 dollars down to 210 dollars so literally 100 dollars loss just from holding the shoe initially it might have looked like a pretty decent play uh but now right now you know, once again, everyone just kind of sell pairs and that's just bringing down a lot of the current market value. Uh, where do I see them going in a year plus? I do see them probably rebounding. I don't think they'll go close to 300. Jordan 1 hype is not where it once used to be. Kind of people are switching up gears. It's dunks, air forces, 
New Balance 550s. Um, Jordan 1 lows and mids are extremely fast sellers right now, especially for me, inventory. We've been consigning a lot recently, almost all of our stuff. And not stuff like this. So this is stuff we aren't selling right now. I'm just not selling this stuff. I refuse to. I'm a little bit stubborn with it, which is sometimes not a good thing. You don't want to put your emotions into this whole investment game, whether it goes for stocks, crypto, shoes. But this is something I just refuse to kind of sell at the moment. I just think it's way too low for bread. Jordan one high. And uh, I'm just going to let the Mickey Mouse resellers undercut each other. And eventually two or three years down the line, I do think these will reach back 300 plus numbers. It's unfortunately going to have to be a long-term hold like that. But We'll let them collect dust in the storage unit. And now this is another one of my personal investments and holds was a great call out by me. I was super hyped for these. We bought, I think, 12 or 15 pairs for retail. And um, look at this graph. It's It was looking great. I mean, we had pairs around here. We bought some pairs here on the way up. Then they kind of went down, which looked a little bit depressing. And now they went all the way back up to 350 around the February, literally February of 2022, which was, this was literally the peak of like, right before this, the so-called sneaker recession, sneaker depression, whatever you want to call it, really hit and prices just took a tumble down to $100 less. So a lot of these big, you know, what once were big sneakers that everybody wanted did kind of just take a toll at around like $100 loss in each, on average, I'd say on each size. I mean, you got a size nine right here, two, three fifty four all the way down to 248 last sale. So a little bit more than a hundred dollar loss right there just from holding the shoe. Do I think this shoe will recover? I think it'll take a little bit longer. Um, this shoe just had a lot of hype just because a lot of people didn't hold this shoe from the beginning. It was kind of like an unsuspected, really fast increase in value um, because other colorway that are released alongside with the all silver one, the other Japan uh, colorway, the all silver, let's see if we can find it. Not here, unfortunately, but you'll see it on the screen. Those absolutely bricked hard from the beginning. But uh, these kind of just held this value pretty well. It's a really good color blocking you know, but if these drop today, I do think they would sit on shelves, unfortunately. It's just like literally two years later. These drop in 2022, 2020, and now it's 2022. And I think right now, I do think that these would probably sit on shelves. And as a result, that's why I say buy these now if you really want them for yourself. Uh, even like a little bit of an investment play, they might be worth it. But if you really want to buy these for the personal, I think that right now in this market, there's a lot, a lot of personals to be made. If you want to just add them to your collection, start rocking more shoes. I think now is a good opportunity to do so. Shadow 2.0 is another one. Shadow colors have always done well. You can see $400 average sale price for these. They've all really, really done well. Even fly knit Jordan 1 highs are selling, for, have a bigger, highest, lowest ask than the Jordan 1 high regular sh leather Shadow 2.0s do. So a little bit upsetting to see that part, but that just makes, you know, a better buy in price for these. Um, I do, yeah, this is, we're kind of just highlighting all the L's, I guess you could say, because we also had some pairs of these. We also had another, some pairs of these prices already under retail, the Jordan 1 High OG Pollens. Yeah, now, I mean, listen, at this point right now, it's summer. It's about to be August, July 2022. I think most people who wanted to get rid of these pairs already are in the process of getting rid of them, already have gotten rid of them. I think we're more towards the end of the cycle than the beginning. Um, I think that's the same thing with stocks right now. Like we have analysis going on with stocks are kind of like slowly looking like they might rebound. We're kind of like in the middle section. If we don't go up now, we're going to go down a lot, lot lower. But shoes are not as volatile as the stock market is if we compare it to that. Um, I don't see these dropping much more than as is. They're already pretty much under retail. If anyone has these pairs, they're already listed up on StockX. You can see asks right now. You know, there's, yeah. So, yeah, there's quite a few asks out here. So, this is what you're going to have to wait on. Um, if you want to buy pairs right now, I'd say right now is probably a good time once again. Jordan 4 Lightnings, another great shoe during, you know, the peak era of Jordan Retros ever since the Last Dance documentary came out. That's when Jordan Retros just took off. Wildly exciting to see. But this is another one where I do see like right now buying in price around the $250 to $270 range is actually not a bad idea. Especially for the person as well. These drop for $220 shipping plus tax. It means like a $250 shoe. So if you're paying $275, $280, $290 after taxes and fees, I don't think you're doing too bad. I mean, you're doing pretty well off in my eyes. These were a little bit lower at one point in November 2021 around like the fall winter time kind of just have slowly gone up since then but now they're taking a little bit of a hit more once again once again it's 270 dollars out of all the Jordan retros right now I'd say Jordan 4s are the peak everybody likes them they're like the new Jordan 1 I'd say compare Jordan 1s in 2020 to Jordan 4s 2022 I'd say they're about the same peak level of demand so yeah this is another one I could see appreciating well it's a little bit of a loud Jordan 4 it's a little bit of you know not everybody loves them just because how obnoxious they are compared to like Oreo 4s or military 4s a lot more people do appreciate those than these, uh, so I would just keep that in mind. And now we move on to, once again, as I mentioned, one of the most sought after sneakers that came out this year so far is a Jordan 4 Military Black. Look at this, $69 lower than last sale. This last sale is, of course, not on StockX, probably a number taken off consignment or some sort of other place. 
Right now, look, 10 and a half right here is pretty much flat line. It's pretty much been flat, a little bit lower than flat. Uh, you can see average sale price was around like the $330 range, $320. And right now we got lowest ask at 317. So I'd say just about flat, but you can literally put a bid right now. I'm sure it'll get taken. Like look, last sale for this one was 303. Put a bid up here and they will get taken. I don't think it's such a bad price either. Once again, retail this was 210 US dollars. You know, probably paying 220, 225, 230 on release date, ship plus tax. Um, so right now, you know, if you find people wanting to sell, it's not a bad idea, but these have just gone down since release day. It's it's a little upsetting, but listen, there's a lot of demand out for this year. I think once people start spending more money, uh, this whole e economy recession thing gets fixed around. This is another shoe that I think will be a great buy. And now we move on to another uh, sad boy release, the Jordan 11 Retro Cool Gray. Now this one along with the patent breads is like the two main meme sneakers that kind of just, you know, completely obliterated everyone's uh, holds if you're holding them. I mean, listen, it's it's literally like 320 320 dollar sales 320 once again then april is when it really started to go down stock market kind of started going down already in january february around there stock market i mean the sneaker market always tends to follow behind by about like one to two months so keep that in mind and um yeah that's exactly what ended up happening we're at 268 dollars for repair and they were once going for 320 it's just part of the name of the game though i guess that's just what happens and you know it's it's all correlated all assets once again are correlated within each other everyone has money tied up somewhere and once they need more cash need more liquid you know they need to be more liquid they're going to start selling off these asset assets and that's exactly what happened with these shoes and once again a great person i think winter time even as soon as then, we might see a little bit of an uh, increase as long as the economy starts to at least flatline or, you know, not dip much more than it is right now. I do think these have a lot more potential. Once again, a great buying shoe. I mean, it's a great personal. 225 was retail. Shipping tax makes it 250. And literally, look at this. A size 8.5 for 232. Kind of sad to whoever's selling this shoe. I mean, you're basically netting less than retail. And now, real quickly, we're going to talk over some like higher tier drops. I mean, listen, we got a buy now price for 1150 on this shoe. This shoe kind of did take a little bit of a dip. I mean, listen, we had prices up to around two thousand dollars. This is a shoe I wouldn't really consider a great investment just because uh, you know it's a little bit of a tricky one. It's a lot more expensive and a lot more money to be putting behind uh, your moves. But if you want to like get a pair for the person, I think this is right now a great time to buy as well. And listen, we got prices three hundred dollars less than once was before. And I don't know how we forgot about this shoe, but the Jordan 1 High OG Trophy Room Chicago is a pure definition of what's going on in the current market. This is exactly what's wrong. We got market right now. Listen, market was at $2,900, right? All right. Drop since then obviously wasn't going to hold forever, but it's just been a con. This is like the craziest graph, I say. Where's the Midnight Navy uh, Jordan 1 highs? This is just, look, it kind of rebound a little bit. January, February, did it look good? And then right back down. These pairs are up down to $1,400. $1,325 was well, last had the lowest sale ever recorded. Uh, $1,232 actually was the all-time lowest um, so far. So crazy but this is exactly i'm not going to talk about the two shoe buying it up because i just think it's overvalued right from the get-go i think it was just a shittily done release it was like these only these are like a reseller exclusive and nobody touches for retail unless it was those 225 people that hit sneaker stock because that's how much stock was loaded and other than that though that's pretty much it some pairs are already on their way up and you got to keep in mind though also only 19 left in this size you look at asks Take a look at us, 1590, 1594, 1600. Once 1600 breaks, we go to 1800. Once 1800 breaks, it goes to 2215. Wild numbers if it could break this point. There's only three left to sell, and then it goes back up to that point. But keep in mind, there's still a bunch of resellers that have like 15, 20, 30, 40 pairs. I see, still see them listing it up on Twitter and Instagram. So it could be an interesting play here, but still, I, maybe even some reseller arbitrage where you buy this here and you sell on a consignment and sell that way, and you'll be able to make some money that way as well. Honestly, this, the, these shoes right here that I'm talking about in today's video, you can all most likely buy on StockX, put them on consignment, and make money that way. Just basically resale arbitrage. And so I see some people actually making money that way, and it's a very valid opportunity to go about it. Of course, a little bit of higher risk because you're not guaranteed to sell on consignment, but if it's a fast-moving shoe and you can get a good price on it, there's absolutely no reason for you to end up losing money on these. So my top picks are, once again, Patent Bread 1 Highs, which you know is not so popular right now. I see a lot of people making fun of them. Uh, Jordan 11 Cool Gray. I think it's absolutely fantastic buy right now. Uh, Jordan 4 Military Blacks are still a little bit high, but they do move fast. And I would honestly personally wait on these a little bit longer. Uh, these Jordan 1 highs, once again, all Jordan 1 highs, I'd be a little bit more cautious about. They have a little bit more risk attached to them because the fact is Jordan 1 high market is just not where it once used to be. And it's not in demand as it once was. So these will take a long time to come. But keep in mind, 
fashion is a cycle and what comes in comes out and what comes out comes back in eventually as well so just depends on your time frame of things and hope you guys enjoy this video of course you guys can always let me know in the comments below what you think i'm sure there'll be a lot of a uh, controversy behind some of the stuff i said but that's just my opinion and this is not financial advice once again so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace